Well, Mark and Lori, to put this whole thing into perspective, this is the biggest budget request for special ed ever put forth by an elected official in this state. More than $140 million in the first two years, and that would make a significant dent in our decades-old, underfunded, and neglected special education programs. Five has found our woefully funded system is leaving special education students at the back of the class. Take dropout rates. We rank 46 out of 48 states reporting with a rate of 34 percent, a third of the kids dropping out. Only South Carolina and Utah are doing worse. As for graduation, an analysis of federal records shows only 58 percent of our special ed students are getting diplomas. Just 12 states have worse numbers. An infusion of money as proposed by our state's top education official would give thousands of students the supports they need and are legally entitled to, but currently are going without, like one-on-one -on -one teaching assistance and behavioral therapies. The superintendent of public instruction tells us King 5's reporting on special education is helping to build support for our most vulnerable students. It gives voice in a very complicated and competitive space, and so uh, it's really good for us that, that you have taken this time and this risk because it's good. So do you feel good about this heading into the next session? I do. Um, it is all good momentum if the legislature will stay in the fight and say, hey, there's no such thing as your job ending. You get elected to come solve problems, and as the data and research uncovers new problems, you solve new problems. And we have uncovered a lot of problems that by state and federal law need to be fixed. It's not, you know, an option. It really needs to be fixed, and so we'll find out what's going to happen ultimately in January. Well, Suzanne, I would think that for this particular group of kids, special education is their basic education, and the state has to pay for basic and education. That's a good point. This isn't an extra. Right. It's not an add-on or a little extracurricular thing that they might get in their day. This is what they need to be educated. And entire teams have discovered and then, and then put into place what they need to be able to keep up, that's the whole point of special ed. Yeah. That you right. can keep up with your peers, that you get the extra um, supports, whatever it is. But when you don't fund it, you know, they just chop those things away without admitting that it's because of the funding. You see what I mean? Do mm -hmm. we know yeah. why this has been such a challenge in the state of Washington? Because we've consistently ranked way down there. I know. Compared it's actually, to other states. I think it's kind of embarrassing hmm. that in a progressive state like this, that we see the numbers in every single story I've done. I like crunch the numbers and then I continually am shocked at how poorly we're doing. I think that we had poor leadership for a long time, to be quite honest with you. Um, no and, one's being held yeah, accountable. Yeah, and, and these are like. people with not a big voice. Hmm. Think about all the problems, the additional problems that you would have in your life to be to have a child with special needs. You know, you don't have time to go truck down to Olympia maybe and testify and, and lobby people. You know, this is an underrepresented group, and I'm glad that we're able to, to give a voice to them. And we have more stories coming for sure, so okay. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you.